Hello and welcome back folks to another set of Singleton. I'm trying to get as many of them out before the Singleton event closes because we don't know when it'll show up. So just trying to do them as possible. So today we're doing five color single friends. This was actually the first Singleton deck I made because duels, Magic Duels players certainly know that when it comes to super friends, they're all singleton anyway, and they were still uh, an annoyance <laughs> for everyone there. So, we're doing a bunch of dumb things. Of course, we, you know, just throw in a bunch of planeswalkers, kind of just, uh, whatever. Throw them all there, throw them at a board, see what sticks, that kind of thing. And eventually, you do get crazy things going. We do have, as relevance, the Healy Thaladar combo in here. Uh, beyond that, just doing whatever we want here. We've got Shalai to try to protect our walkers against targeted removal. We've got a few other random things going on in here as well. We've got a Heart of Kirin because that's relevant with our walkers. And then uh, let's just try to go over the walkers real quick. Nissa, Sahili, and Chandra, Dovin Bond, Tezzeret, Karn, Angra, Teferi, Nissa again, Liliana, Vraska, a Johnny and Nickel Bolas. So it's gonna be some fun, folks. Let's get in there. Let's do some craziness. I'm wondering if that authority of console is actually relevant in a deck like this. It could be. It might be. Might take a look. Let's take a look. Is there something that would uh, be? Oh, we also yeah. Do I mention you? Yeah. He just doesn't. He's not the kind of guy that sticks out, I guess. <laughs> But authority is relevant. We have a uh, Trove of Temptation for ramp as well. I'm trying to look at the colors. Trove, we've got Gift, we've got Grow, we've got New Horizons. We're just trying to sell out for all of the extra ramp and so on going on here. Star of Extinction seems a little bit over the top, but uh, yeah. Our Devastation, yes, it kills other Planeswalkers. It happens, but I think, you know what? Authority, it deals with creature decks very nicely. And about the only thing that really beats us down. So let's just try to have a single card for a single out. And let's play it out. The deck's not really that serious. It's more fun. But occasionally it wins. <laughs> so we're going to play it out anyway. Let's see what it does. Other than wait in queue forever. <laughs> When I say forever. Okay, 15 seconds. That's fair enough. Nodrala! So... What do we get? We get an opponent we have to wait for. Um, there's Felder Guardian. We have a Channeler Initiadon too. We have Blooming Marsh. We have a Balling Wilds. We have some options. Keep. Okay, since we have nothing on one, I'm going to Evolving Wilds for... I suppose we could have Gideon on three if we really, really wanted, so I'll we'll go get the... Uh, well, we have the planes, so that doesn't uh, really matter. We can get blue or we can get black. Or... Eh, yeah, eh, uh, eh. Alright, fine. Island. Chip back. Decision process there. So here's the real question. Does our opponent have Essence Scatter on time? Looks like they do. Or they don't. And they've just got an Optor Cycle card holding things up right now. Three blue. Dynamo Tower. Okay, uh, Dynavolt Tower is a very relevant card, of course. Um, now, we could jam Tezzeret. What's it going to do? I don't know. But I think we can go this route with it and uh, really knock out what they got here. Virtue will always Play something more important. No power over me. We have the forest to allow Wooden Cemetery. We also have Hinterland Harbor. So it's wherever we want to go with things. They don't have the energy. How about... Turn Gideon into a creature, see what happens. 
Now it's my turn. Our opponent is not really uh, doing anything of relevance right now. Ten. Okay. Uh, what's the choice? We could put down Feldar Guardian for what it matters, but I doubt it really, really matters. Or we could jam Tezzeret. I think just jam Tezzeret. We've already got a Gideon doing work, so we'll go with this. If they want to counterspell, they can counterspell, but it's much too late. They had it. There's nothing we're going to do about it. They get some energy, sure. Time to adapt. Set a stop here. They may get the energy for Dynavolt. Eh? <laughs> Seriously, though, opponent. Brawl. That's gross. I don't like Brawl. Tap mana. Alright. Uh. Keep beating? I've been waiting for this. What are they gonna do? Then they gonna unsummon it? Like seriously, dude. Let's jam Feldar Guardian. It's not doing much, but it could do something. Take action. If it's a fight you want, no. Deal I with don't that. Think so. <laughs> Ship the turn! We might have to cycle this shelter thicket. We have the mana to do so once. It will cut off our red if we do that. But I feel the game's slowly slipping away, so I want to just be a little cautious about things here. If we'd landed Tezzerad, it'd probably feel good, but I mean, we'll see what happens. Like I said, it, it yeah, it has that feeling like the game's slowly slipping away. We're not doing too many relevant things. And we drew a good chunk of land. Sends an attack. Or not. Just gonna hold up mana? You gonna actually do anything? Pull from tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Draw some cards at sorcery speed. Attempting to make land drop, I would guess. And didn't get there. Discards and as a hall. Okay, we're at end step. Cycle this. Okay. Into another land. Into another land. This is a joke, right? <laughs> Cycle scatter groves into a Vraska, <laughs> which we cannot cast at this time. All right, um, Gideon. Let's do this. Send. Let's it all go. Get them to four. Gideon still does work in that state. And, okay, our opponent didn't have much going on either. Sounds good to me. I mean, we finally drew our gas kind of at the end. All right, gas at the end. That's fine. Let's do another one. That was the game where, you know, control decks will make sure that you don't do any broken things. We really weren't doing anything that game at all. It just kind of, we had something and they didn't. <laughs> it wasn't anything cool or impressive. Opponent is on the play. Let's see what we run into. Okay, we have some mana, I guess. We'll take it. Some green mana from our opponent's side. We'll uh, respond in kind. 
Two. Got a two drop. You got a Druid of the Cow. Inspiring Vantage. I guess we'll play it since we can. And uh, jam this one. If they leave it alone, we can Dove and Bond for what it matters. Llanowar Elves, our opponent dealing with all the mana dorks in the world. No blocks. Angrath out of nowhere. We can uh, get Angrath on our own time. How about we just get Dove and Bond down now? You have far too many shortcomings to be considered a threat. Stop the land or else. <laughs> Activated abilities cannot be activated. Deal with that. Thrashing Brontodon. Uh huh. You got it. And this is a vital force, pretty good too. So how do we want to play this to maximize? Well, we can prevent the activated abilities of this, but that doesn't change the fact that he could kill a heart if we were to play said heart. But I'm going to play heart anyway, alongside Servant of the Conduit. That was bad. I should have activated first. My bad. But... We'll get the energy. And, uh... Activate on this. Your gonna... options are decreasing. Our opponent allows it to go through. So now we can protect Dovin Bond better for this wave of attacks. Tatiova. Our opponent doing all the value plays. Knock this You're down. Only making it worse. Red, black, uh, blue. Only so much we can do here, but at least we can try. You should bow in the presence of a deity. Uh, how about you get rid of your hand? I'll be taking that. I'd like to advance our board state. That's probably something I should have done. But if they have something of extreme value like uh, that, then that's probably better. All right. Let's see what they do now. Dovin Bond's apparently doing work. Apparently. Size up Heart of Curin versus their stuff. Sure. Draw land. Knock this one out. Do you wish to do anything about it? I want that out of the way. Fine. It's done and dealt with. Uh, give me something. Actually, you know what? Cancel. Take two more cards from them. I adore making a mess of things. I just realized they had a. They have no black mana for their black spells, which is. They're full soul type. Okay, so we managed to get rid of Bontu and Vicious Offering. Interesting. Cool. And now I think it's time for Angrath. And take that last card that they so dearly love. No fire, no steel. And no attacks. Just hang in there. I think we're going to start taking away from them now. Ronus. We can steal Ronus and sack him with Angrath for what it matters. Ah, uh, it's just too much value for them, I guess. <laughs> Easy. Ridiculously 
easy. <laughs> What's our card for the day? Board the weather light. All right. Well, we shipped that turn away. We shipped that entire game. Just packed it up, shipped it off. It's done. Let's get into another one. This guy thinks he's some slick stuff. I tell you, we're going to find out if he really is. Opponent on the play. These decks look unusually large at the start of it. it. Looks like an oversized deck for a half a second, then you uh, go over it again. You're like, no, never mind. Well, opponent, how's your hand? Opponent? Thank you. Uh, is this good? Doesn't look very castable, to be fair. Now, ship it away. Uh, sure. Keep, get a land, good. We're fine. So if we grow from the ashes, what are we picking up? Probably something to uh, protect the fairy or some nonsense like that. So let's see what happens. Our opponent has decided not to play Magic today. They've given up. So we draw the land, then we can Evolving Wilds accordingly. Get that growth from the ashes eventually. It's just our scry is exactly that. Anyways, our opponent with the Evolving Wilds, finally they decide to play Magic. They keep that up. I'm gonna have some rude Yorgos on the way. I think we uh, grab a Plains here. It's not gonna get Angrath, but uh, where's the Plains? There it is. It's not gonna get Angrath, but it'll get to Fairy and Beldar Guardian for the relevance there. Land of War Elves on two. Plains or a Swamp. We get a Fumigate, okay. We can't get a second white source for that fumigate, and I don't know if we're going to need it. What the crap are you? Uh, okay, sure. Malthus Revolutionary. Um, Heart. I think Grow is a little bit uh, more relevant at this time. Let's just try to get up there. And we can go get Black or uh, Red. I'm going to get Black. So not much we can do right now, yet. There's our red source, what it's worth. What do you cost? You cost three. We could steal that for what it's worth, but it's not worth. What I think we can do is instead get the Teferi out, unless he's got anything, uh, giving him anything right now. And any crazy perfect draw. Let's slow this down. We're just gonna, we're gonna plus him. Hold that get a card assist us in some way. Authority is not bad to have for later. And we're gonna go and untap what looks like the relevant lands. So what this allows us to do is uh, get a Felidar Guardian out unless he's got something crazy going on. So I like barring combat tricks, which he's using his blossoming defense for. Oh well. My worst. There's a root bound, Craig. Okay. Jam authority. Uh. Jam heart. It's only so much we can do. We have like. A whole bunch of mana, but the only thing that's double colored is stuff that we don't need double color for at the moment. In any case, authority ought to slow them down just a hair, just a hair. There's the stupid gear hole. Ew, gross. So we do need a white source badly to just fumigate this garbage away. We're getting some life, they throw us a beating. 
a Healy. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, six. We are one minute short of what we need here. Okay, well, we can probably get around it. They've used their blossoming defense. We can still use Heart of Kirin to uh, take out anything relevant. We're going to uh, steal the Molfist and uh, hit him with it. Your crew for my fish. We still have the heart. A fair price. There we go. <laughs> and the Molfis uh, ability gives Angrath a little extra loyalty. So now they have to uh, try to deal with Angrath a little bit. They have lethal presented. It's how many combat tricks do you have? And can you deal with heart easily? Yep. We just need land, folks. We just need land. It's whether or not they've got it. If they got it, they got it. But, I mean, we've been just kind of idling here with not enough of any one thing we need here. So we're just going to try our best. Our opponent trying to come up with some answers here. Let's let's see what we can pull off. Do you have it on time? Do you have exactly what you need? Braska's Contempt. Well, that's it. That's it, folks. We tried. Just couldn't get there. A little too awkward. A little too awkward. That's a shame. Mana doesn't always cooperate when you're five color, but you can definitely try. It happens. What game are we on today? I think that is uh, the, uh, the last game for today. Yeah, sure. We'll call it last game for today. All right. Thanks, folks, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.